Hey guys, Matt here once again showing one of my chestnut trees in my home orchard. And the reason why I wanted to show this tree is um, to show or demonstrate some dicambia or dicamba damage. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. It's a chemical that um, farmers and uh, folks spray on broadleaf to kill broadleaf weeds. Um, I think another derivative of it is 2,4-D, so you've probably heard of that. And uh, I think what happened, I, you know, I can't prove it. I live pretty close to an ag field, so it couldn't have come off that. And I also live, uh, you know, there's pasture land all around that's being uh, farmed for, for hay. And I just wonder if maybe uh, one of those farmers may have sprayed their pasture to kill a lot of the weeds. And some of it drifted over here to this tree. Uh, this one seems like it's it's uh, hit the hardest, um, and you can tell a sign that your tree has been uh, poisoned is these curly leaves like that. Now I don't think that they'll go ahead. And, they've been like this for a while, so I think they're just just got just a little. Uh, I don't know what the correct terminology taste of it, so to speak, but um, it did do a number on them, you know. Um, pretty much the new growth got hit the hardest which is everything you know on the ends of the limb and this tree man it's a good 15 foot tall it shot a runner up way way high there but all of that new growth there was affected by the overspray so I just wanted to show and demonstrate uh, what happened to your chestnut trees uh, should it come in contact with broadleaf weed killer or I should say light contact. If it, if it had gotten direct sprayed, it might've killed it, I don't know.